Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Cleveland Indians and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Indians today is Steve Hargan, whose record is 12 and 18 with a 5.17 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is John Gelnar, whose record is 3 and 9 with a 5.24 ERA. Okay, we are beginning the final series of the season, the final homestand as well. We have a three-game series versus the Indians to wrap up the 1970 campaign. And I'm, for one, glad to have this uh, coming to a close. Uh, my only hope that's left is that uh, we at least get to 70 victories. That would feel like something, uh, considering the way things started for us. I'd also like to see Darren Johnson get a couple more home runs and Tommy Ag get a couple more stolen bases. Uh, that would be nice, but uh, I don't really know what else we can expect. We've got our number three, four, and five starting pitchers to close out the series, and Cleveland is going with their ace today, uh, Steve Hargan, and then Louis Tiat tomorrow, and Sam McDowell for the final game of the year. So... I don't know about our chances. It's tough to gauge, uh, even now, exactly uh, why one team wins over another on any given day. But I would like to get one more victory. I guess that's, at the very least, uh, give me that, baseball gods. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the uh, final series here momentarily. I'm sure it, at this point, hopefully everyone knows that we are giving away uh, some nice end-of-the-season prizes um, that will take place here in game 162. You only have today and tomorrow to get in on it. You must be a subscriber. And you just have to let me know in the comments below that you want to get in on the giveaway. Uh, we are giving away uh, three prizes. The third place prize is an Aurelio Rodriguez rookie card from 1969, in which it's actually the Bat Boy displayed in the photo and not actually uh, Aurelio Rodriguez. The second place prize is a Boog Powell autograph card. Boog, of course, was the 1970 American League MVP. And the first place prize, one of the best prizes I think I've given away, is an autograph of Bobby Thompson, uh, the, the player who had the shot heard around the world, uh, in which it's actually a cut signature from one of his very own personal checks. It's very cool looking. Uh, only 25 of them were made. It's number 10 of 25. A pretty valuable item. Uh, so uh, that is uh, what we're giving away. We'll have a duck race in the seventh inning stretch of game 162. And we have 11 contestants already. It's the same 11 that we've had for uh, the past couple of days. Which doesn't mean you, can, you can't get in on it. If you want to, just let me know. And we will get you added to the duck race. Okay, what is that? Why is that happening? Let's get rid of that. Um, somebody just hacked me, I guess. We're go going into the uh, dark web for the, the final series of the season. Uh, if you, uh, I'm sure you, you are also aware that we are getting ready to start the 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay. We've already completed all of the, that's weird. Why is all this weird stuff happening? Okay, there we go. Um, we've done all of the uh, divisional previews now. That was um, completed yesterday with the National League West. So we've, we've got all of that accomplished. And then today, after this ball game, uh, I will do spring training. So we're going to go game by game, day by day of spring training. And uh, we'll be able to see if there's any trades in spring training. We'll see if any... Um, free agent signings or any injuries take place and then we'll solidify the final Tigers roster so I'm looking forward to that that's always a lot of fun for me what has not been fun is the season for John Gelnar he gets his final start today the current Indians lineup's been 229 against him all the bullpen is available uh, except for Bucky Brandon who uh, really helped us out yesterday and pitched five innings in relief so good job by him, but he will not be available. And here's our lineup for today. 
Steve Hargan on the mound. He's a right-hander. We have our lineup in there versus righties. Um, the only difference is that Clay Dalrymple will get the start behind the plate. All we're hoping now is to accumulate more stats. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Cleveland Indians, a team that's got a lot of pop, as you can see here. Batting leadoff in right field is Russ Nagelson. Batting second at third base is Bob Bailey. Batting third at second base is Billy Parker. Batting cleanup playing first base is Norm Cash. Batting fifth in left field is John Lowenstein. Batting sixth in catching is John Orsino. Batting seventh in center field is Jose Cardinal. Batting eighth is the shortstop, Zoilo Versalles. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Steve Hargan. One last look at John Gelnar making his 24th start of the year. 3-9 with a 5.24 ERA, 58 strikeouts in 115 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 293 against him. His fastball topping out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. He's only got one good pitch, that is the fastball. Rated an 81, overall rated a 77. The 27-year-old right-hander is arbitration eligible after next year. And if everything goes as planned, he will probably be in the rotation. Uh, out of spring training. You'll see he had that horrible start against Cleveland last time he faced them where he did, uh, did not get an out. He gave up four runs on four hits. Uh, in his last start he, against the Yankees, he went five, gave up three runs on four hits, walked a couple, struck out a couple. So he needs to redeem himself versus these Indians today. We'll take a look at the defense for the pilot's pretty solid everywhere you look. Uh, the outfield is good, and we've got uh, Del Rimple behind the plate with his 92 rating. Okay, here we go. Russ Nagelson leading it off against John Gelnar. Final series of the season in Nagelson goes His 19th home run of the year, it's 1-0 Cleveland. It is still very much possible that we can get the third pick if we uh, lose every game this series. Um, I would like to get the 70 wins, but Bob Bailey gets a base hit. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow with um, Ruthven pitching. He's been pitching so well. There's the first out, first K for Gelnar. Runner at first, one out. Norm Cash at the plate. Leading the team with 28 home runs, make it 29. 3 nothing Cleveland. There's the fourth hit of the inning. This is exactly what happened in the last start. Catcher John Orsino, his last start against Cleveland, that is. There's a fly ball to center. Gelnar has thrown 115 innings. That's a career high for him, so maybe the game has just capped him and everything that's been happening now is you know a predetermined slugfest so he gives up three runs in the first inning that's always a bad sign we take a look here at our lineup against Steve Hargan batting leadoff in center field is Tommy Agee batting second in left field is Jose Cruz batting third in right field is Joe Pepito Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting sixth and catching is Clay Dalrymple. Batting seventh at second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at shortstop is Jerry Devannon. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, Steve Hargan making his 37th start, back-to-back -back years, making 37. He's 12 and 18 with a 517 ERA, 145 strikeouts in 247 innings pitch. He does have over 100 walks as well. Six complete games. The fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 41.5%. His fastball is rated an 85. Overall rated an 83. The 28-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. Looking at his log, 
yeah, if you saw the title card, in his last nine starts, he's 6-1. and one. He's won four decisions in a row with two complete games in there, including his last start versus the White Sox, where he went nine innings, giving up three runs on seven hits and one walk with two Ks. So a strong finish to the season for Hargan uh, leading into today's game. Here's the defense for the Indians. Right side of the infield below league average with Cash and Parker. Right field below league average with Nagelson. And behind the plate, the backup catcher, Orsino, who's got a 77 arm. So a guy that we could run on if we can get on base. We're down three, so we're going to have to do something to rally. AG leading it off with a line drive to second. One out. Jose Cruz, next man up. Batting 336 in half a season. Flies out to right, and Joey Pep, looking for number 30, gets plunked in the hip. How many times has Joe Pepitone been hit this year? His career high fifth time. Oh, no. He got hit seven times back in 1963. Okay, one swing of the bat here from Darren Johnson can get us back into the ball game. He does have two career home runs versus Hargan. And Hargan wants nothing to do with him. Johnson walks. So this is going to be a game where there's going to be walks and hit by, bat hit by uh, hit batters and no hits. We're certainly not going to get a timely hit from Mitch Rollins. Yeah. So we only had two hits in yesterday's game. The only run was scored on a fielder's choice. We go to the top of the second. Soilo Versalles leading off. Oops, I hit the button. There we go. 2-0 count to Versalles and the ground ball to second. One out. Here's the pitcher, Steve Hargan, batting 0.85, trying to help out his own cause. Caught in the gap by the center fielder, A.G. Two down, and Russ Nagelson led off the game with a dong. And the base hit the left. Five hits now against Gelnar. It's going to bring up Bob Bailey, who strikes out looking. Okay. That's a good bounce back inning for Gelnar. We can give him one more, perhaps. We go to the bottom of the second, and Clay Dalrymple will lead it off. I think Clay's proven that he's a good backup. He got off to a really bad start, and then we cut him. He became a free agent. We brought him back. It's difficult to uh, bounce back in those limited at-bats that he gets. Van Kelly goes down and pulls it into right field. There's our first hit of the game. Runner on first for Jerry Devannon, who saw his eight-game hitting streak come to an end. And now he's got another streak started with an infield single. John Gelner. <laughs> I mean, he's the best hitting pitcher we have. He's batting 160. Um, I guess we have to sacrifice Bunt. At the very least, we get the two or at the most, we can get the um, two base runners into scoring position for AG. At worst, um, it's an embarrassment to everyone and their families. Okay, they all worked out. So, second and third, two down. Here's Tommy AG. He's got one shot. Nope. Error? No. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, this is going to go very poorly. Top of the third, here's Billy. Billy, 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 oh Billy. Ground ball to first. <laughs> uh, I love uh, Judge Smale quotes. I could do Judge Smale all day for every batter. I should call a game like that. As uh, Judge Smale from Caddyshack. Wow, Gelnar. Nicely done. A 1 2 3 inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Here is Jose Cruz. 
Be nice to get somebody on base at the top of the lineup. Just not happening. Puppy got hit by pitch. And a base hit just past the glove of the shortstop. That's our third hit. Now, Darren Johnson leads our team in double plays. He's got 21. And that's because we let him swing away, even when we can hit and run, because he's got that home run potential. There it is! That's exactly why. You'll take a ground into double play if you can get a two-run shot. That is the 34th home run of the year. And we are back in the ballgame now. It's 3-2, to two, Cleveland. Mitch Rollins. A comebacker for out number two. That brings Rollins' batting average down to 280. And the rimp. Base hit the right. Now we've got five hits. Runner on first for Van Kelly. Kelly singled the first time up. Had the first hit of the, of the game for the Pilots. And he grounds out the first. Okay, well, I mean, since we've got all righties here, I think we can let Gelnar go one more. And that probably will be it, because he'll have to bat next inning. John Orsino with a ground ball to first. One out. Here's Jose Cardinal. Cardinal does have a home run in his career against Gelnar. I'm guessing a lot of people do. Gelnar has given up. 21 home runs in 118 and two-third innings. That's not what you want. However, that is six in a row now for Gelnar as Versales steps in and will fly out to left. So that's good. Good job by Gelnar. That first inning was brutal. But he finishes on a strong note. That'll, that'll definitely do it for him because Gelnar will be up next. Take a ground ball to third from Devannon. One out. I really like what I've seen from Gary Holman. He has a home run. Driven in four runs and only 15 at-bats. So give him the pinch hit. Does not pay off. Two down. A.G. Pulls it to third and a one, two, three inning for Hargan. Okay, we need a new pitcher. Righty, lefty, righty, righty, then two lefties. Well, we are definitely short on righties to begin with. So I guess it's Fred Gladding. He's already thrown 57.2 innings this year. Way more than we ever would have thought and he has a career high in games pitched at age 34. This is going to make it 35 or whatever you know what I mean. Here's Steve Hargan. Into the gap come on AG. Making the catch. Good job running it down. One down for Russ Nagelson. Popping it up. Devannon making the catch. And Bob Bailey. 3-1. Oh, a comebacker. That was ball four, but he swung anyway. All right, good job by Gladding. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Jose Cruz will lead it off. Come on, Jose. He had that good run where he had five home runs in like seven games. And his bat's gone quiet. This is definitely the point. If this were a full season of Jose Cruz, this section of what we're playing right now would be the point where the game is forcibly uh, getting him to lower his batting average like it did with uh, Johnson early on, like it did with AG and Pepitone. It's just... No matter how good you start, they, the game will right the ship no matter what. And Johnson flies out. Okay. Well, I would like Gladding to face Billy. And then we bring in a lefty. Let's see if that works. 
Okay, Gladding getting a four out appearance. Yep, good job. Okay. Doesn't help his ERA much. Well, let's bring in a lefty that we can count on here. Um, Bill Edgerton? Let's give Edgerton another shot. He'll face the next two batters for sure. 0 2 to Cash. How many ground balls back to the pitcher can there be in one game? It's got to be a record or something. And Lowenstein grounds out to short. All right. Bullpen's doing their gerb. We go to the bottom of the six. Here's Rich Rall. Ground ball to first. So they got all their hits, I believe, in the first and second inning. We got all our hits in the third inning. And then it's just been quiet for both teams. The rim. That's his second hit. That could be a double. Oh, it won't be, though. Nagelson's got a cannon out there. So I was watching the second game of the season between the A's and uh, I forget who they were playing. Um, and uh, I was laughing to myself because the A's starting pitcher, Ross Stripling, in the second inning gave up three runs, and one of the runs he balked the run in. And I was like, baseball mogul happening in real life. That's a double play. Okay. Edgerton coming out for Ray Ray. Ray Peters. Having an okay rookie year. We've had to rely on him because of our lack of righties in the pen and in the minors. Sliced by Orsino into right center. That'll be caught by Pepitone. One out. Oh, and Cardinal gets a base hit. Sixth hit for the Indians today. Cardinal's got good speed. Will he test? The rimp. You don't run on the rimp. Versailles. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Okay, 42. That'll pretty much end the game for sure. That's the seventh triple for Zoilo. We'll pull the infield in. Steve Hargan will be swinging away. Wow, he struck out on ball four. That's just dumb. We'll walk Nagelson to get to the righty. Bob Bailey, full count. Better. Round ball to second. All right. Well, now we're just wrapping it up. Devannon with his second hit. Why not? Who cares? He's safe at second. Good hustle by Devannon. His ninth double of the year. Well, 12th combined. His slugging percentage sucks. I mean, it really will. I mean, he's only 26 next year. It will be tough to run him back out there with that type of record, but. Whatever. What other options do we have? Let's bring in. DB, Don Bosch. 0 for 3 in his career against Hargan. First pitch swinging, base hit. We get that run right back. Nice. Pinch hit. RBI for Bosch. We're going to try to steal second with Bosch. Get that runner into scoring position. But low and away, Bosch steals second. That is the tying run. Bosch is eighth stolen base and only 103 at bats. That's, that's something. Okay. Now AG doesn't have a does have a bad record versus uh, Hargan, one in 16. Let's see if he can't just connect. That'll get it done. Bosch will move over to third. Infield in. 
That makes sense. Cruz, a sack fly rating of 99, mofos. How much you want to bet he does not get it done, though? Because the game's already been determined. But he has, he, I'm looking at his rating right now on my wall, on my little chart, and it says Jose Cruz, sack fly rating of 99. To me, that means 99% of the time it works. Oh, fudge you. That's so bad. They take away our only opportunity for an RBI. Well, game's tied. I need a drink. All right. Only one out. Jose Cruz is just taking a big shit right there at the plate. He's 0 for 4 today. I do kind of want to preserve Cruz's great batting average. Um, all right. We need a pitcher. And it will be a left-hander. It will be Ramon. Ramon has been struggling lately, but we've gotten more mileage out of him than I ever thought we would. Let's just give us two outs here. 0-2 to Cash. There we go. That might be the first strikeout since Gelnar in the first inning. I can't think of another one. Ramon does his gerb. Fly ball to center. We'll bring in the gerb. Ron Herbal. He is nibbling at some wood chips. Got to clean out his cage after today's ball game. There we go. John Orsino. 0 1. And a ground ball to second. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. Let's get a run here. Let's not wait to the ninth inning. And Johnson walks, pinch, run. Darren Johnson coming back to the bench. We're sending out JJ, Johnny Jeter, 94 speed. We got the best hit and run game, uh, guy in the game, is what I'm trying to say. He's one for 15. That's not good. Hit and run. Works. Jeter going to third for sure. Oh, what? Oh, they're not going to let us score. Oh, no. That is, they're definitely not letting us score because of that. A hit and run that works up the middle, and Jeter does not go to third with a 94 speed. So we will not score here in this inning. That's, that's how the game is designed, unfortunately. Um... Okay, well, let's see if the Rimp can bunt. The, I mean, they will not let him bunt, right? Something will happen here. It'll be, yeah. Okay, so the balk. There's the balk of game rule. Good job, game. They're not pulling the infield in. So we will go on contact. So it looks like they're trying to give us another run by any means other than an RBI. Full count. Oh, they walk him. To load the bases for Van Kelly. Nobody out. What is happening here? I don't really know what to do. Obviously, they're going to go on contact. So we don't. I guess we just have to let Kelly do whatever he's going to do. So they're going to strike him out, and it's going to be a double play. That's what's going to happen. No. Wow. Okay. A walk. A single. A walk, a walk, a pass ball, and they did not give us the RBI. We have the lead, but we will not get another uh, run this inning. Um, we'll go in contact anyway. There's still nobody out. Now it'll be a strikeout. No? Well, ground ball to short. Rollins does score. At least we did get an RBI. And now the double play.
Oh, the gerb. They, they worked it to get the gerb, but we need to keep Jerby in the ball game because we have righties coming up. We have no more righties in the pen. You go on with your bad self, Gerbil. Okay, we've scored four runs in the last two innings. We go to the top of the ninth. Let's bring in the defensive people. We're trying to win. I know we shouldn't, and this is probably a dumb thing to do, but there's the defensive replacements. We need a new first baseman. Oh, no, we don't. We just put Jeter in right. Pepe at first. That's the best defense you can do right there. Look at these numbers. Nobody below 85 except for Jose Cruz. And yet we'll have three errors this inning. Here we go. Cardinal base it. Let's just get it get it over with. Zoido! Popping it up. I'm sure they'll pinch hit for Hargan. Right? Switch hitter, Richie Scheinblum. He's good. I don't know why he doesn't get to play every day. Well, let's see what happens. 3-1. Ooh, a ground ball to second. A lot of speed on the base path. And that is the ball game. What? Pilots win 6-4. to four. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Well, we got our 70th win. What does that do to us? Well, there's the National League. Los Angeles officially wins the National League West. And uh, there's one game with two to go between Philadelphia and New York. American League. We are now tied with Chicago. And Detroit is one below us. So we, now we're back to about the possibly the fourth or fifth pick depending okay well the Dodgers won that's not much of a surprise they made it close though let's take a look at the uh, Brainiac baseball data beat Dodgers are the National League West champions Don Sutton must have been on the mound he went eight Washington's Volweiler hurls a two nothing shutout um, so good for him that's it transactions Oh, Gary Nolan is going to have a rough offseason. 107 days, breaking his ankle. He went 20-8. and eight. I don't think he'll be the uh, Cy Young. Uh, are we missing something here? Phillies, Jack Fisher. Oh, yeah, yeah, we covered that yesterday. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Get in on the giveaway. Be a subscriber. Let me know in the comments that you want in. You have a chance to win a pretty damn cool prize with the Bobby Thompson shot heard around the world. Autograph, cut signature. Um, Ron Herbal gets the win in relief. Good job for him. Darren Johnson goes deep to RBI. He's the player of the game. Gelnar gave us four after giving up the three runs in the first. And he struck out three. Peters did have a strikeout. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty good performance. Hargan will lose his 19th game. Um, Cash and Nagelson both hit home runs. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back later tonight and do the uh, spring training for the Detroit Tigers. That'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see uh, what happens in spring training, which trades are being made. That's always fun. And uh, we'll be back. Until then, everyone, have a great day.